Boy, you already gave me my soul back, so shut up. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to the normal schedule. It is no longer the month of the fool. It's time for more Hat in Time. That delightful Mario type game. And apparently this one is all about the free roaming, baby. Chapter 4, Alpine Skyline, Free Roam. Yes. When you live in the free roam, you must do as the free roam does, or something or another. It may not be the month of the fool, but I sure do act the fool, don't I? But that's what you love about me, isn't it? <laughs> At least I like to hope. Maybe. Let's see what else I can find in this twisted world. Yes, we must land with flair. Okay. That's beautiful. Okay, here we go. Hey there, buddy. Have you noticed those bright flashing lights in the sky? They started appearing recently after some weird hourglasses fell from the sky. I wonder what they could be. Maybe they're correlated. In any case, I really wish they wouldn't be so bright. They're blinding. Got it. I appreciate the tip. Oh, maybe I could have grabbed it then. Ow. Okay, that was... That was most certainly not a fun way to fall. Hitting my face. Damn it. And I just realized that right-clicking is how you do that. Okay, cool. I should probably be more careful with my life, huh? Not that it matters, because death is kind of cheap in this game. And heck, I had my soul taken away from me just earlier. Okay, here we go. Unfortunately, due to the nature of this, I couldn't exactly read the dialogue without risking her letting go. Well, that's probably not true, but whatever. That's how my paranoid brain chooses to interpret the situation. You understand, right? Good thing there are life, there's life, heart, orbs everywhere. Oh boy. There we go. There we go. What do we do about this? Well, obviously the idea is not to slam against it. Because, you know, you would think that slamming against it would do something, but it does not. Not really. However, jumping over here is effective enough. Now let's climb! At least I think so. Right. Close the horn. Hey, buddy. This guy seems chill. But I'm pretty sure if he saw me, that would be a different story, wouldn't it? Right. Gotta blow the horn. Oh, okay. It's a different Why horn. Why don't we blow the horns ourselves? Maybe. Up this high, the air is really thin. It's hard for us to take deep enough breaths. It doesn't seem to bother you, though. Yeah, she's basically magical. Didn't you know that? She can basically survive anything. I'll point out that she survived without a soul. Clearly she's not normal. Although she does have her soul back. Now she quote unquote only feels the normal amount of emptiness. Which is kind of sad if you think about it. I see. That's good to know. Ow. Hey, pal. Hey, Buster Brown. There's gotta be somewhere to go. Oh, okay, that's cool. That's real cool. 
right. Maybe this is where I need to go, huh? If they steal shiny things, then my guess is they also stole the hourglass piece. The boardhouse is this way. Thanks for the tip. I really appreciate it. Ow. That was not good for my health. Or my face. The boardhouse is this way. Got it. Yeah. Now, um... How do I get over there? Because it doesn't seem possible. At least not if I go the direct the approach. Is this way. Oh boy, this is bad. What am I doing? Why did I go back? Because I instinctively left clicked in because it responds her right next to that. You know what, it's just easier to just say this is all weird and freaky. Let's just go uh, this way. Hey, this way doesn't lead to any peaks. <laughs> oh, I see. I think you're supposed to actually... Or you're just supposed to fall to your death. I don't know what the hell's going on here. The birdhouse is this way. Yeah. How? Okay, there we go. There we go. I'm I'm catching on now. I, even my idiot self can catch on eventually. If you already you already have this hat, but you get plus one yarn anyway. Maybe I can upgrade it to make it stronger. Or maybe that's not how this works, is it? Okay, that was... Make sure you swing towards the path you want. I know. Thanks for the tip. I really appreciate it, Broski. Now let's get out of here. Let's actually move on and not just fall to my death over and over again. Even enough falling to your death hurts. Or at least I would imagine. I mean, technically, this little girl is feeling the pain, not me, but that makes it even worse. That makes it far worse. There's a horn at the top. Okay. Thanks for the tip. Really appreciate it. Hmm. Maybe I should go this way. Yes. So there is. Well, that actually worked. I'm actually shocked that worked. Don't know why I'm shocked that worked. Well, I guess it's a good thing the collision detection is not, um, quite so accurate. She's somehow standing on thin space. I forget it. It's probably not important. However, there doesn't appear to be a way up from here. Nope, no way up from here. Good thing that was not a far enough drop to actually hurt me. Thanks for the tip. All right, that's what it was prompting me for. Oh, hard to tell sometimes. Just a little bit hard to, to tell sometimes. Okay, maybe sprinting will help. Yes, it did help. Daggum evil birds. What are they, angry birds? Well, too bad I can't destroy their eggs. But I guess it shouldn't be their fault that they're and set that their descendants or no wait ancestors are such pricks okay I know what I must do but I don't know how to do it okay this is just great hmm. okay there we go that was actually a little tricky there Mostly because it's me we're talking about here. Here you go. Mm, I love having the ability to switch hats. Oh, that's just great. Actually. There we go. You just gotta be fast about it. That was my problem. I was not being fast about it. 
What the? Hmm. Ah, there we go. Checkpoints. Sweet. Checkpoints are great. They always check your point in space. Getting a lot of these. Hey, what are you doing up there? Ha ha. Take this. Sorry, pal. This is just the way it's gotta be. You hurt me on sight. That makes you an enemy, whether or not you're hostile. Or whether or not you're hostile. And all enemies must die. That's just the way of the world, Buster Brown. That's probably why so many turn hostile against me. Time to blow up the horn. Yeah, that probably felt good. Nice. Now we've got a bending path. You've cleared Serpentine Birdhorn. Cool. Totally happy about that. Let me tell you about it. Good thing I can double jump to break my fall. But clearly I wasn't doing it well enough. Now I can go into the Thunderdome. And by Thunderdome, I mean the Bird Dome mostly. Yeah, the Bird Dome mostly. Okay. Maybe I just gotta steer. Okay. That's cool. Oh, that's great. Well, there are some currencies that I'm not gonna get back. Yellow Band Hills. Time to invade more lands and take their stuff. Well, I mean, technically the the hourglass pieces were hers to begin with, so is it really? Kaboom! She sure is a witch, isn't she? Hey. You know, it's not wise to mess with a witch who also has super sprinting capabilities. Just saying. Might just end to you, might just lead to your imminent death. You're nearly at the birdhouse. Thanks. I appreciate it. Ah, there we go. Good thing I've got this, huh? That's just to make sure you've got the appropriate hat before you go forward. If these are all the birds I have to worry about, then, well, I don't have to worry at all, do I? These birds are pathetic. Honestly, gravity has claimed my life far more times than they ever will. And you can quote that. Because that's true in so many ways. Not only do I take fall damage, but I've fallen over cliff sides and whatnot. Not to mention falling into hazardous liquids and things like that. So yeah, technically... And what do you know, gravity is also once again screwing me. What the hell, man? Oh boy. There we go. Really need to be careful with my jumps, huh? Or alternatively, don't be careful at all. Just be an idiot about it. There we go. I just had to double jump. Hmm. Oh, can I not use it when I'm up here? Well, that sucks. I can't use my ability. Now what do I do? Oh, there we go. I could use it, just not uh, very well. You know, I was hoping that I could swing off of that, but apparently that's not gonna happen. Kaboom! Maybe that was some kind of shortcut. You know, once you actually got through it. Or not, I have no idea what I'm doing. But then again, do I ever have any idea what I'm doing? No, probably not. 
Okay, that's great. Now the downside to using the sprint hat seems to be that you don't get a double jump. Probably a way to balance things out, because otherwise you'd be able to reach farther heights than what you ordinarily would. And clearly we cannot have that. Darn, is there no way up there? There's gotta be, but... Okay, clearly that's not gonna be a factor either. Heck, even those bird nests didn't really stop me. Well, okay, they do, but they didn't. They didn't over there. So what was that all about? Oh, I see. Idiot. Well. Can we try to aim a little bit better, please? Let's just aim over here. You gotta realize there's an arc to this kind of thing. B. Yeah, as you can see, that is the case. If you're currently sprinting, you only get one jump. It just counts as a jump, I see. Oh. Oh. Well, that was just great. Just steers it off to the right, so... It can be a little hard to tell where you're actually supposed to be aiming. Just a little bit. This must be the birdcage. Time to finally get one of those famed hourglass pieces. Eh. Took me this long to get one of them. And I still haven't actually gotten through it. The birdhouse. You thought roadhouse was intense, try the birdhouse. This is where the rubber meets the road, all right. Eh, probably. I'm probably being uh, hyperbolic. But whatever. Oh, holy crap. We got egg bombs. They don't play around. Right. Yeah, certainly. You know what, I can induce an explosion with them. Okay, that egg is benevolent. It's the smaller ones you gotta worry about. Maybe I should just use this hat. Because this hat is more offensively capable. Okay. That was a knee-jerk reaction to be sure. It seems that one can't hurt me though, it can only knock me backward. Which makes it funny when I just straight up kill it. Actually, it almost makes me seem like the bad guy. Because he just wanted me out of the way. And I wanted him dead. Oh well. No sense in whining about it. Oh cool. Oh crap. You know what? You already have the hat, but you get plus one yarn anyway. Yes indeed. Kaboom! Okay, I see. That big Burbo over there is gonna be a problem, isn't it? Darn. I can't reach it. I guess I'm not gonna be able to do this the cheap way. I gotta do the things the normal way, don't I? Probably. Whatever constitutes is normal in this crazy world of ours. Oh, crap. It's gonna be one hard-earned hourglass piece, isn't it? Luckily, I can induce explosions. Explosions! No, you don't. I see what you were gonna do there. You were gonna knock me right off and into the pit, weren't you? Heh. <laughs> Not today, Sunny Jim, not today. That other one was the warm-up to let you know what they're capable of. And these ones can actually put the drop on you. Oh boy. 
I don't think so. Well, um, that was pointless. Did not think it would just blow itself up over there. Even more stupid than I thought. Your stupidity impresses me. I never would thought I never would have thought someone would be so self-destructively stupid. But you <laughs> Oh, you are clearly set apart, aren't you? The only one who could possibly rival me for being self-destructively stupid. As you can see. You are my match. Oh no you don't. No you don't, you son of a beaver. <laughs> you trickster. You fool! Did you really think you could stop me or take me on in any real capacity? Okay, there we go. Yes, I am greedy enough to go for that, even if it does mean that I become inconvenienced to hell and back. What do I care? Ow. Well, why did I have to grab the heart right before getting exploded? Because, as we've determined, I'm a self-destructive idiot. Crap! Go screw yourself, pal. There. Now I got some use out of it. What the hell? Okay, for some reason it wasn't responding to my movements there for a second. Luckily I've got this. Now time to blow the horn and wake that bird up. Wakey, wakey! It's time to put the hurtin' on that bird. Or just use it as a stepping stool. Which, now that I think about it, that seems more likely. It might not even be a boss fight as I assumed it might be. Okay. Got to say, why aren't you going on there? Hopefully you're just using it as a stepping stool and you aren't actually trying to hurt it. Oh, who am I kidding? Well, if I'm gonna slam on it and use it as a stepping stool. Oh, okay. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. Now that was cool. <laughs> you clear the birdhouse. Well, I guess that really was a red herring. That would have made more sense if it was fish. Oh, okay. Hmm. Did I make the goats even stronger? Because that's a, that looks like a thing. I think I'm just gonna go back to the hub. Is that okay? I mean, it's been over 23 minutes. It's not like I'm gonna clear out another land. That'd just be awkward. Maybe I'll just go look for straight time hourglass pieces, huh? Ooh, what's this? Where's that from? No, I must know. Go screw yourself. Pow. I must know! You are denying me what is rightfully mine. Me knowing what the hell that is. The emergency button, perfectly designed for moments when you need a button to push, but can't find anywhere else. That's wonderful. Also, is that a reference to Freddy Fazbear? Right over there. Or maybe it's just a coincidence, who knows? I have no idea. It could just be a coincidence or it could be a deliberate reference. I mean, there's, there's probably no middle ground in between. It was either intended or it wasn't. Why is that a thing? She was supposed to hold on to it. But I guess we don't have to anymore. Okay, there we go. Jeez. Is it that hard to hold on to things? It doesn't seem like a complicated concept. But I guess it is for you, isn't it, little missy? Isn't it? 
What's this? Oh, right. This is blocked off by some kind of void. I've got no idea what that's all about. But, in any case, something happened somewhere. And I need to find out what happened where. I wasn't even really paying attention to what that was. That's cute. Hmm. I thought I thought it looked like a console of some kind. So maybe it would be the main area? Or maybe I'm wrong on that. Something changed. And I demand to know what. Maybe if I restarted the game, it would show me. It would zoom in on it. A closet. Lots of room for skeletons. That's nice. That's that's real nice right there. Hmm. Let me tell you about it. Actually, no, let's not. Ah, oh, cool. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Isn't that just adorable? Because I think it's adorable. That's cute. Anyway. Where was I going? I have no idea. For all I know, it's over here. Now that I think about it, it could have been over here. What's this? Hold up. The Dirty Laundry Cleaner 3000. I see. No power, 35. But something happened. And I demand to know what. Because I wasn't paying close enough attention to know what happened. Actually, I think it might have been over here. Or maybe not. I don't know. Now I'm just confused. Oh well, it's not like I have enough time to go into any other worlds. Come to think of it though, I think I'm gonna go back to the Subcon Forest. Because even though I just got my soul back, I'm already missing the joint. Let's see what um, rifts are located. Let's see, that's above some woods, wooded areas. Some wooded planks, I mean. That's above some kind of sewage. So, sure. Let's go back to contractual obligations. Yes, indeed. Real shame that I already did them. Yeah, real shame, isn't it? Anywho. Thankfully, there are no traps I gotta worry about, probably. Oh, I just gotta worry about finding those stray hourglass pieces. seem he wasn't entirely forthcoming when he said that that was his last font that was his last hourglass piece but I'm guessing these are just strays so he's not technically lying maybe I should have actually checked right the time rifts too bad I can't oh okay you can actually see an image of one of them where would that one be where is their piping there has to be piping somewhere. What is with those glowing wooden crosses? It's very strange to me. I find that strange, don't you? What the? Oh, right. The dancing spirits again. Wait, is that a mafia member? Is that a Mafia member I see? What's he doing there? That's weird. Really? Why, hello there! You didn't forget about me, did ya? Don't tell me you forgot about me. Oh, don't worry, I didn't. What's up? You working on any contractual obligations lately? Check it out! Just Boy, you already gave me my soul back, so shut up. Ah, oh, that's great. Right. So he got trapped in the painting. That's, uh, lovely. 
I'm all out of time in any case. So, so much for those rifts. Sorry about that. Anyway, that's gonna have to be it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like Exploration Lost. And I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. I guess at least I got a few of those, so not completely worth a waste of time. Even though it's basically a waste of time. Peace out, have a good one. And have a nice and very pleasant day. If you enjoyed the content and want to stay up to date, I upload 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day. You can also subscribe and hit the bell icon or just check out the end screens right here.